the decathlon is widely considered among the most grueling of track and field disciplines. A two-day trial testing every aspect of athletic ability and skill over 10 taxing events, such as the respect afforded to these multi-event maestros that the king of the decathlon is often regarded as the best all-round athlete in the world. Some iconic individuals have held that mantle over the years, so let's take a moment to look back at some of the all-time greats from the decathlon at IAAF World Athletics Championships. Number 5. Trey Hardy Trey Hardy became just the third decathlete to successfully defend his IAAF world title when he took his second consecutive gold at the 2011 World Championships in Daegu. But it was on his World Championship debut in Berlin where Hardy really caught the eye, powering his way to his first decathlon world title with a performance that contained three personal bests and eight seasons bests. Hardy literally led from the off, posting the quickest 100 metre time with a clocking of 10.45 seconds. He then set personal best in both the long jump and the shot put of 7 meters 83 and 15 meters 33 respectively. Overnight, Hardy was in third position on 4,511 points, 44 points behind the leader. But the American started the second day with an impressive 13.86 seconds in 110 meter hurdles, putting him well clear of the rest of the field, where the next quickest time was 14.08. This performance propelled Hardy into the lead, and it was one he never relinquished. He went on to post a personal best decathlon score of 8,790 points, a massive improvement on his previous mark of 8,534, and joined illustrious compatriots Dan O'Brien, Tom Pappas, and Brian Clay as world championship gold medalists in the decathlon. Number four, Thomas Dvorak. Three-time world champion Thomas Dvorak is a decathlete who came as close as any to maximizing his considerable talents. When he set a new world record with a score of 8,994 points in 1999, he posted an astonishing five lifetime bests, and his score equaled 97.4% of the maximum he could have achieved from all his personal bests. Consistency was the key for the man from the Czech Republic. On his World Championship debut in 1993, Dvorak finished in 10th place, progressing to 5th at the 1995 World Championships in Gothenburg. He continued his improvement to become a virtually immovable object from the top of the World Championship medal podium, claiming three consecutive world titles from 1997 to 2001, emulating the accomplishment of Dan O'Brien, the man he replaced as champion and whose world record he would ultimately surpass. In taking World Championship gold for the first time, Dvorak enjoyed a phenomenal first day, bookended by lifetime bests in the 100 and 400 meters, as well as a PB in the shot put to score 4,527 points. Still, he found himself trailing the leader by 21 points at the halfway stage. Dvorak started the second day in sensational style, racing to another lifetime best of 13.61 in the high hurdles. Yet another PB of 70 meters 34 centimeters was delivered in the javelin, which not only saw Dvorak take the lead, but put him within touching distance of the world record if he could run a PB in the 1500 meters. Dvorak played it safe clocking a time nearly six seconds outside his PB, but still good enough to take gold by a margin of 107 points and register the fourth highest score in history with a tally of 8,837 points, a new championship record. Dvorak would go on to retain his title a further two times in 1999 and 2001, improving his championship record in Edmonton to 8,902 points, a mark which would stand until Beijing 2015, when Ashton Eaton set a new world record in the decathlon. Number 3. Dan O'Brien At the start of the 1990s, Dan O'Brien was the world's best decathlete, and he underlined his reputation by winning three consecutive world titles. And after his high-profile absence from the Olympic Games in 1992 as a result of no hiding in the pole vault at the US Olympic trials, O'Brien broke the world record in Lance a month later before completing his collection of global titles by taking Olympic gold in Atlanta, part of a streak of 11 consecutive decathlon victories. O'Brien's first world title came in Tokyo 1991. 
the American arrived as a hot favorite after posting a win dated total of 8,444 points to win the U.S. trials, just three points shy of Daley Thompson's world record that had stood since the L.A. Olympics. O'Brien started in blistering fashion, running the 100 meters in a scintillating 10.41 seconds into a headwind. The next fastest was 10.74, and O'Brien had laid the foundation for a commanding victory. He then won the long jump with 7 meters 90 and set a PB in the shot put of 16 meters 24. A modest high jump of 1 meter 91 was well below his best of 2 meters 13, but O'Brien bounced back from that disappointment to set a new PB of 46.53 seconds in the 400, a full second quicker than he'd ever gone before and a second ahead of his closest rival. O'Brien continued his sensational form on the second day, setting personal best in the 110 meter hurdles and the javelin, and he led all the athletes in the pole vault. O'Brien ultimately missed the world record by just five seconds in the 1500 meters, or perhaps a better way of putting it is to say a decent high jump would have seen O'Brien surpass Thompson's tally. Still, O'Brien's winning total of 8,812 points established a new championship record, while his 263-point margin of victory was the biggest in world championship history. O'Brien improved his championship record to 8,817 points to retain his title in Stuttgart two years later, becoming the first man to win two world titles in the decathlon. And then he bolstered his collection of world titles to three in 1995 in Gothenburg, when despite being below his best, he fought his way to a comfortable victory over the rest of the field. Number two, Ashton Eaton. The USA's Ashton Eaton is the latest in a long line of outstanding multi-event athletes representing the Star Spangled Banner, continuing his country's fine tradition in the decathlon and establishing himself as the best of his generation in the process. Eaton has won three world indoor titles in the heptathlon, as well as Olympic gold and two world titles outdoors in the 10 event discipline. He's also set two world records in the event, breaking the 9,000 point barrier on both occasions and so joining Roman Chevrolet as the only man to surpass that magical figure. Eaton's first world championship hardware was a silver medal at the 2011 world championships in Daegu behind his compatriot Trey Hardy. But by the time of the 2013 world championships in Moscow, Eaton was the reigning Olympic champion and world record holder. He duly added his first world title with a world-leading score of 8,809 points, where a rapid 400 meters in 46.02 seconds was a particular highlight. Although Eaton entered the 2015 World Championships as the defending champion, the Beijing competition represented his first decathlon since winning the world title two years before. Eaton's credentials made him the overwhelming favorite, but would his body be ready to tackle the varied demands of the two-day test? Eaton started impressively, clocking a world championship decathlon best of 10.23 seconds in 100 meters, just outside his personal best of 10.21. Solid performances followed in a long jump, shot put and high jump before Eaton delivered an astonishing display in the 400 meters. Eaton ran 45 seconds flat, setting a new world decathlon best for the third time in his career. After nine events, Eaton's own world record was within reach. The 1500 meter time required to deliver it was 4 minutes 18.25 seconds, a time Eaton had bettered only once before. Eaton dug deep around the three and three quarter laps of the track and crossed the finish line three quarters of a second inside the required time to improve his own world record and claim his second world title. In doing so, Eaton became the first decathlete to set a world record at a world championships. His final tally of 9,045 points was a six point improvement of his old figures and was the only world record set at the world championships in the bird's nest. Honorable mention, Roman Chevrolet. At the time of his retirement in 2013, Chevrolet had amassed an astonishing 49 decathlons of over 8,000 points or better, and 21 indoor heptathlons of over 6,000 points, far more than any other athlete. But perhaps Chevrolet is best remembered as the man who broke the 9,000 point mark in a decathlon when he produced a world record total of 9,026 points at the multi-events extravaganza in Gotsis in 2001. 
This remarkable performance contained personal bests in four events and was only surpassed as the world record in 2012 by Ashton Eaton. In addition to that memorable display, Chevrolet garnered world honors to underpin his credentials as the world's greatest all-round athlete. His trophy cabinet includes two world indoor heptathlon titles, as well as three European indoor crowns, two European decathlon titles, and Olympic gold from Athens in 2004. A world championship gold in a decathlon was the only major title missing from Chevrolet's impressive collection. And after claiming silver medals in 2003 and 2005, Chevrolet finally stood on the highest platform of the medal podium at the 2007 event in Osaka. In his sixth appearance at an IAAF World Championships, Chevrolet could at last call himself a world champion. It was the final global title secured by Chevrolet, and its addition meant that he joined the select band of athletes to win every major title available in his event. Number 1. Daley Thompson Great Britain's irrepressible Daley Thompson is widely regarded as the greatest decathlete the world has ever seen. Thompson is one of just three men to have won the Olympic multi-event title twice, an accolade he shares with Americans Bob Matthias and Ashton Eaton. For a six-year span between the 1980 multi-event extravaganza in Gotsis and the 1986 European Championships in Stuttgart, Thompson was simply invincible, amassing a win streak of 11 decathlons in a row and setting world records on four occasions. Moreover, when he claimed gold at the inaugural World Championships in Helsinki 1983, Thompson became the first decathlete to simultaneously hold continental, Olympic and world titles. Meanwhile, his Commonwealth crowns made Thompson the first athlete in any event to hold all four major titles at the same time. In 1983, Thompson had missed over three months of training with various back and groin injuries. But the reigning Olympic champion took a late decision to compete and take on reigning world record holder Jürgen Hinksen of Germany. Any doubts about Thompson's speed following the injuries were quickly laid to rest as he raced to victory in the 100 metres in 10.6 seconds, leaving Hinkson 89 points adrift after one event. Thompson then leapt to a season's best 7 metres 88 in the long jump, while Hinkson was short of his best in the shots and high jump. Hinkson eked out a win in the 400 metres, but ended the first day 120 points adrift of Thompson. Hinkson set PBs in both the javelin and the pole vault, but such was Thompson's overall superiority that Hinkson would have needed to beat his British rival by 15 seconds in the final event, the 1500 metres. Hinkson did cross the line ahead of Thompson, but the margin was just 8 seconds in the Germans' favour, meaning Thompson took world championship gold and completed the full set of major championship titles. We hope you've enjoyed our look back at these top moments. What do you think? Let us know your thoughts, we'd love to hear from you. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great athletics content and visit IAAF.org for the latest news, updates and information from the world of athletics.